This is the TRL Footy Show brought to you by Power FM, live and free on Power TV Australia from the Toowoomba Sports Club. And now, here's the host of the program from the Obi and Cookie Call on Power FM, Andrew O'Brien, a.k.a. Obi. Hey, Robbo. Well, I'm on fire and look at our panel. Two names synonymous with rugby league in the, in the area. Uh, Justin Murphy and Nev Cherry. How are you, boys? I'm great, thanks. A little bit sore from the old boys game <laughs> on the weekend, but uh, great to be here. Yeah, and great. how'd you go, mate? Did you, did you actually get tackled? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm retired anyway. I didn't do it too much. I went for a field goal at the end and I went straight along the ground to the uh, crowd's amazement and very lots of laughter there, so it was pretty good. And Nev, do you put on the boots in those old boy games? No, I don't, Obi. I, I haven't received an invite yet. I, you I, don't I could need play, an invite. I could play for the Valley side. Invite. I'd like to do that one day, but as Justin said, watching those guys out there, the mind says yes, the body says no. It look, looked like really good fun, yeah. and it was a great day out there. Congratulations to the, the brothers' yeah. side and the Valley's club. Well, it was good fun. I don't think I'll get an invite for the next one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you turkeys, I don't go in it because I'm still good enough for a grave. Let's get straight into it. Mustangs lost to South uh, uh, Logan Magpies on the weekend. Uh, 32-24, they led and they just let the game come out of their grasp uh, there, Neville. But, but the score, 32-24, like that's very encouraging for league on the downs. Like There would have come a time that they would have been easy beats. The Magpies would have turned up here on the downs and give us a touch-up, but... I can imagine they're turning up here now and coming up against the Toowoomba guys and they really have to prepare well, otherwise they're going to go away with a defeat. Yeah, look, uh, I have noticed that they're, they're really getting into the week in, week out grind, Murph. Yep. And this week there, I think uh, tomorrow night or Saturday night, they're travelling to Townsville, their longest trip to take on the Blackhawks, Murph. Definitely. I know um, Dave McCall, the coach, he said they had their chances to win that game. They're no, no, this is the, the Blackhawks. The coming up game. Yeah, the Mustangs. Probably still... Oh, the, yeah, the Mustangs. Mustangs sorry, yeah, come yeah. with them, no, mate. You know. yeah, sorry. You're still <laughs> sore from Sydney. Oh, I am. Yeah, good. He got a head knock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> Eugene, um, he's still got that team going. They've got yep. some good young kids there. And, yeah. and they're still competing. That is right. They're, yep. they're competing every game and improving. And, mate, uh, uh, yes, the Phillies, after being smacked the previous week, uh, uh, Division 1, uh, competitive, 22-12 against West. You said you were speaking to David? Yeah, David, he, he was... Uh, he said that they had their chances to win that game, so they're competing a, 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 as well, and they are lacking a little bit of experience, to which might get them home in close games like that in the future. And Division 2, Southport uh, beat our, our girls by uh, 24 points to nil. Uh, they're still again probably the same grind yep. week in, week out, uh, Neville. But the thing is, Obi, look, it's 24 nil, and it sounds like a, a bit of a touch-up, but... The girls are competitive and experience is the great thing. Like, see where we're going to be in two years' time with this girl stuff. And I take note out of Glen Home Park during the week, the schools put on a girls' gala day and fantastic to see those young girls playing rugby league. So, it's warm, but don't go, just go away from that school. But female sport and female rugby league on the downs is going through the roof, Obi. It sure is. And then this week, uh, Division One, uh, they play Burley, which I know is David uh, McCall's oh, yeah. old uh, stamping ground. And that should be a beauty because they were very good against them last time. And Division 2 play top of the ladder Murray Taipans on Saturday at Jim Laurie Oval, wherever that is, um, Amir. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to that Oval, so I'm, not sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Look, I don't know, and I'm sorry we don't know, but uh, we wish the Division 2 girls uh, all the best. Uh, let's go to the break, Robbo. Coming up after the break, we'll have an in-depth look at last weekend's Round 8 games on the TRL Footy Show, brought to you by Power FM Live and free on Power TV Australia.
Debbie Harrow from Blondie. This is Jimmy Barnes here. Stevie Nicks from Fleetwood Mac. This is Reppin' Willie G from ZZ Top. The best tracks from the greatest albums of our generation. That's right. From your breakfast and coffee. <laughs> to your drive home. Got the classic hits that make your work day and you got a job to do. go by a lot faster. Hey, if we haven't said it lately, thanks for listening. The home of classic rock. Don't touch the dial. Powerfmradio.com.au whether you're a professional musician, a weekend warrior, or just starting out, you need to talk to the experts at Royce Music. With over 35 years' experience, Royce Toowoomba's oldest music store, specialise in guitars, drums, and sound equipment, and can even repair and maintain your equipment. Call them today on 46-327-377, drop into their showroom at 17 Bowen Street, or find them on Facebook. Royce Music, selling Toowoomba's finest musical instruments. Hi, I'm Neil from CGD Group and we do printing with imagination. Our products and imaging have that wow factor. Whether it be business cards, flyers, the Coffee Gazette or our brand new A5 video folders and animation. Have your business branding remembered. Call us today on 4639 5553. CGD Group, printing with imagination. On Power TV Australia, we take a frank look at computers, the internet and social media with a team of experts from around the world with Switched On IT. Learn what makes the internet tick and how to keep your kids safe online. Discover a whole new world of entertainment at www.powertvaustralia.com or download the app from the Google Play Store. Thanks for joining us for the TRL Footy Show from the Toowoomba Sports Club, live and free on Power TV Australia. And now it's back to Obi and the panel. Yes, well, let's uh, review last round, round eight of the Toowoomba Rugby League. And Valley's 24 defeated Brothers, only a try apiece in the second half. You were there, Nev. Tell us all about it. Mate, the most enjoyable game I've been to this year. Obi has played in really good spirit, but it was tough and hard. Like, it just, the Brothers side, whoever's in charge of the coaching there, or Johnny Dixon, they, even before they scored a point, you could tell they were structured, they were there to mean business, even in the warm-up. They just warmed up differently to how, how I've seen them during the year, and they're going to be very competitive. Look, I think it's a, a, great, uh, a great thing for brothers going so well. You had an old boys game, <laughs> uh, Justin, you played, and uh, they're just very enjoyable, aren't they, mate? But it was, it was great, and a good crowd. It was a good crowd. The whole... Uh all the old boys hung around after together and watched the game and the vibe up around the uh, side of the field was really good and watching the footy on the field it was a good game to watch too and Johnny Dixon he's added something there straight away you can see the 18's got a win they're improving and even the, I've heard the junior people there they're looking at John Dixon there helping out so it's given them a bit, did, bit of a lift. Did you see him on the sideline there at all like I was just watching <laughs> the, and he just cool calm calculated doesn't say too much and just touching on the old boys there Murph when they come off, did you see the guys all line up and clap them? And yeah, like the whole old boys, both sides, yeah, right, it was from awesome. the field to the dressing rooms, clap yeah. them off and got them going and yep. gave them encouragement. Yeah, that's great. But let's not take anything away from Valleys. They oh, said yeah. it was a tough game, game is that right, yep. mate? Mate, it certainly was. Like, Corey McGrady is an absolute superstar. And the, the Valley side, of, and they would say they weren't at their best, but good sides win ugly, Obi. They sure do. Reserve grade, Valleys 56 nil over Brothers. Under 18s, uh, Brothers with about four or five new chinchilla dual registered players they did the uh business on valleys winning 29 26 in their first win of the year congratulations on that under 18 so what a great competition that is second division valleys 38 uh defeated brothers eight in their first win in about two to three seasons so well done to they're second they're division on a roll there. a draw and a win they're on a roll yeah well done <laughs> and uh see how they go now high fields 32 defeated Gundy 16. We went out to uh, Gundawindi on the weekend. It was a record crowd on Ladies' Day out there at Gilbert's Park, and uh, what a game we saw. It was 22 16. Actually, it was 22 10 at half time, 
And then uh, Ronnie David scored almost a length of the field try to make it 22-16 in the first minute of the second half. And then Joel Curry was that far away from scoring to make it 22 all near the post. And then what happened then, that uh, Mr. Durable, uh, who each week seems to be on the bench or reserve grade, but he plays a lot of A grade, Blake Apo, right, intercepted a ball right on their own line. And uh, he scored to take the game away from Gundawindi and then win. But look, uh, uh, Highfields, uh, again, they won ugly, but Gundawindi improved uh, now. Mate, I think Gundawindi's one of the unluckiest sides in the competition. Like, they're just nearly there. And if they can hold that side together and keep working hard, the wins will come. But isn't it an enjoyable trip going out to Gundy these days? Like, the Gundawindi Club has done some great work in welcoming, welcoming clubs to come out there, and it's really enjoyable. Yes, and uh, uh, Tyrell McCulloch, Murph, uh, he scored one of the tries of the season, 40 metres out, beat about six or seven uh, players to get the Toowoomba Sports Club play of, uh, of the day. And uh, look, Gundy playing uh, uh, better at the moment, Murph. They are in front of a good crowd there, and they have changed the whole uh, look of their club, and yep. it's a good thing for Toowoomba that they're there and they're playing in that way. And they are improving slowly, they're getting there. They've improved a lot from last year where they are now already, but. It's good to see Tyrell McCulloch and a couple of class players out there going yep. away. Now, in reserve grade, Highfields had only one meet week at the top of the ladder until Gundawindi uh, drew with them 22 all under 18s and upset there. Highfields were undefeated two weeks ago and they went down to Gundawindi under 18s, 22 points to 12. Second division, Stanthorpe 26, Oakey 12. Now down to the match of the round. Uh, Gatton returned with a vengeance this week as they opened their new facilities at Gatton, a fantastic uh, facilities. They are a new grandstand, new can bar. They won 36-22 and kept the diehards uh, uh, scoreless the second half. No, that's right. It's a good win, Gatton. They've had a couple of close games, I think, and to get that win, which was important for them to hang in there in front of their home ground, it, it's good. I think we all tipped Gatton last week too, didn't we? On yeah, here, so. we sure did. And uh, I think we knew something, Nev, didn't we? Because um, Jewel uh, registered Denzel King from Eastwich Jets. Uh, he played well. Michael Froloff played well. And the halves, uh, Lip and Nolan, played well for, well, for Dolby. Uh, the, for Gatton, Gat Well, the week before, there were signs there, Obi, in the first half when they played Highfields. They had Highfields stretched. They were nearly there. And then they fell away in the, the second half. But I talked to the players that were coming off the field. And I said, and what's made the difference? And they said, they're working really, really hard at training and it's paying dividends and just congratulations to the, the Gatton Club for the, the job they're doing down there. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think it's uh, one of the uh, premier uh, viewing uh, facilities in our competition. And let's not talk about uh, Dolby. This time last year, they were averaging, uh, conceding only four points a game. So they've got some issues there. We'll talk about that in a moment. Reserve grade, again, the closeness of that competition. Gatton, 22, drew with uh, Dolby. 24, sorry, 24 all it was. Under 18s, top of the ladder clash. Uh, Dolby were top of the ladder going into the game. And Gatton, if they won, they were top of the ladder. And they did just that, 36 points to 14. And then another top of the ladder clash in second division, Gatton, 32-24 over Dolby. Waddles, 42-16. A young Wally Pegler played for Oakey, didn't he, Nev? He certainly did, and he's a classy little character. Quick off the mark, and he scored a 90-metre runaway try. Yeah, and look, uh, uh, Oki had some big ideas going to Waddles, but uh, spoke to coach uh, Tom Friend in the three weeks they had off. They were very disappointed with the players not turning up for training. If you're going to be good in this competition, you've got to put in the hard yards, haven't you? No matter whether you're playing or not. Definitely, you've got to prepare, put that preparation in, and that starts on the training paddock. And if you're not training, it's going to be very hard to be in the big games at the end of the year, I think. Yeah, Andrew Richardson got man of the match uh, for... Uh, you gave him the man of the match. Uh, uh, Neville, I spoke to Travis Spoons. He reckoned he had a shocker. So that's, I don't know what you know, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah. but, uh, I thought he went pretty Willow good. Grady went very, very well, as did a lot of the other uh, guns, such as uh, Matt Duggan and Nathan Galton. Whereas uh, uh, Oki, uh, they all, all tried hard. They're good players. Uh, Adam Cherry, uh, Josh Stanton, Josh... Uh, Manuel Schrader. Uh, 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 well, he said Manuel Schrader didn't play that well, uh, Tommy. In reserve grade... Uh, 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 Waddles 60 nil over Oakey, 34-24 uh, Waddles over Oakey in under 18 and South Burnett were 54 uh, winners over Warwick 18. And then uh, look, unfortunately a, a five try haul by 
Pittsworth, James Dempsey gave him man of the match in a 96 point to nil win over South in those reserve grade. Uh, Pittsworth 46, South uh, 16. Under 18s, 30 points to 18, South over Pittsworth. And then Pittsworth, uh, their only win of the day. Oh, sorry, uh, win in second division. 24 points to 12. So uh, just before the break, we interviewed Graeme Rolls uh, about the Gatton Hawks new facility. Let's have a look at that interview, Robbo. Up next, we'll look at the latest points table and a preview of round nine this weekend. This is the TRL Footy Show, brought to you by Power FM. Andrew O'Brien reported for QRL and TRL Media, and also we'll put this on uh, Gatton Hawks, but we've got Graham Rolls, and what a wonderful day for Gatton, especially after that under-18s uh, win, they're now top of the ladder, and you've been sponsoring them, mentoring them, and uh, managing them for many years, Graham. but what a great day. Really good day. Good day for footy. We got off to a good start with the second division, and the 18s probably at their best in the second and a half to keep them to nil in the second half. That was a great, great effort. I came down here on Thursday, mate, and I saw this wonderful complex here, and uh, I just thought, wow, and a lot of people have said to me, and I'm sure you've said, is, wow, mate. Yeah, it's come together. I mean, when you first started and planned it, you're never sure how it's going to finish off, and but I think it's come up well. Yeah, and then you've got these scallywags. You've got a big thing. That took a bit to get in. You've got the uh, can bar down the end there, mate, and we've got a big full, a full uh, uh, audience today. That's what it's all about. We need a big crowd, uh, even if it's for our uh, opposition to come and enjoy their football here. It's all about housing a bigger crowd. It's all about better entertainment and the, the crowds enjoying their day. And now they've got uh, seating with cover, and uh, I think it's a real asset for the club. Yeah, it's like uh, the uh, Leeds Club now, for a, from a viewing and supporters and a customer point of view, is complete, doesn't it, with these here? It does, it does, and it gives us our personal area down there for the players to uh, at the can bar, uh, which takes them away from the general run-of-the-mill audience and, uh, and away from the players and the referees. So we're happy with the layout and we're happy with how it's finished. I was always a bit nervous. I remember that first interview when I said, oh, we'll wait till it's done, but now I feel comfortable that it's come up really good. Anyway, you've led well with this, mate, and you're a very humble man, but it takes a lot of people, as I know, but you've got the product there, mate, and congratulations to you and your team. Oh, thanks very much, Obi. but I will say this being finished has come from a group effort from within the club. Our sponsors and our volunteers and the people that have gathered around and uh, given us a hand, a few free lunches here and there and a lot of effort, that's been our strength in completing this has been the group we've had a good number of people have been prepared to get behind it and help so well done mate thanks Abby. looking for exposure for your business or event take your business community event training seminar sports fixture function concert or exhibition to the world with Power TV Australia and Power FM's unique live outside simulcasts. We can turn your next local event into a worldwide sensation with stunning live pictures, interviews, graphics and live action replays for a fraction of the usual cost. From a festival or sports fixtures to a corporate or charity event, Power TV Australia and Power FM can take your message live to our local and national viewers and listeners. Invite the world to your party by contacting Barry today on 0431 390 920 or email programming at powertvaustralia.com for a quote. Hi, this is Sarah and Bron looking after our feet at Hip Pocket Toowoomba. Lace up, zip side, pull on, men's, women's, kids, healthcare and construction. Get fitted for your shoes and check out our range of work socks. At Hip Pocket, we rock it. Art by Leonardo's has moved to the Toowoomba Homemaker Centre. Sit down with a coffee and our friendly, experienced staff can help you choose the perfect custom frame to suit your artwork and budget. Plus, all framing is done on site. Come and visit us at our new showroom. At the roundabout, take the third exit onto the War Ego Highway. See, honey, we will be there in no time. Um, you were supposed to take the third... Oh, online is easier. Make a U-turn immediately. It's all right, honey, Stop the GPS is just recalibrating. Now. Turn left into the river now. This is going well. The car park is chockers. Why didn't we just go online? Yes, madam. Just take the mouse and log on to powerfmrockshop.com.au The Power FM Rock Shop. You bought the album, saw the concert, now own the t-shirt. www.powerfmrockshop.com.au Hi, 
Hi, this is Bron and Sarah from Heat Pocket Toowoomba. Join us every Monday night at 7pm on Power TV Australia for our new safety show, Rocking It with Hip Pocket. When we explore work safety issues, demonstrate how to use safety equipment, discuss your workwear and PPE options and much, much more. Find out what safety equipment you need for the job, why you need it and how to use it in this fast-paced, informative show. Discover a whole new world of entertainment every Monday night at 7pm at www.powertvaustralia.com or download the app from the Google Play Store. And remember, at Hip Pocket, we rock it! And welcome back to the TRL Footy Show from the Toowoomba Sports Club, live and free on Power TV Australia. Now it's back to Obi and the panel for a look at the latest points table and a preview of Round 9. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, Roberts, a car called Robbo. Let's look at the points table. And in A grade, uh, Valleys and Waddles up the top there on 14. They play in a few weeks' time. And then we've got three on 10 points, Highfields, Dolby, Warwick. And then uh, uh, keeping in touch just by a couple of games, uh, we've got three teams, Pittsworth, Gatton and Oakey on six with Gundawindi on two and South on nil. How do you see that uh, table that, there, uh, Murph? It's pr pretty tough. How do you see Pittsworth, Gatton and uh, Oakey, those three teams, look, they could push right up there if they get on a roll. Well, you wouldn't think Gatton and Pittsworth would not be in the five at this stage, would you? No, that's right, but Pittsworth play uh, Oakey this weekend, uh, uh, Nev. I think it's a real crunch game for Amobi. They either contenders or pretenders. If they don't get away with the victory there, they're in big trouble, but I'm predicting they will. I think they'll come out strong. Well, of course, uh, we'll speak about that in a moment, but let's go on to reserve grade. What uh, <laughs> close ladders there are right throughout the competition. Valleys 12, Highfields and Waddles on 11, uh, Gat and Pittsworth on 10, Dolby on 9, uh, uh, there's, uh, what, three points uh, with the first five or six. Gundy on seven, Warwick on six, uh, still not out of it. South, Oakey on two, Brothers on zero. Great, great games in reserve, great. And under 18s, have a look at this table. There's four points for the top six there. G Gatton 14, Dolby 13, Highfield South on 12, South Burn at 11, uh, Bally's on 10, and then Gunder, Wendy and Pittsworth, they're still six, and Waddles even. They're four, and uh, Brothers and Oakey on two. Clyde Burkhoff, a second division. Uh, Gatton, uh, 10. Dolby, 10. Uh, Pittsworth, 9. Uh, Stanthorpe, 8. Very close again, two points at top four. Uh, Warwick, 6. Oakey, 4. Valley three, South and Brothers yet to open up their account. And they have some close uh, lower games. We love the lower uh, graves, don't we? Mate? It's good fun and they're good blokes to play. It's played in good spirit. You get a laugh out of them. They take it passionate as much as the A-grade guys do. And, mate, if you're looking the best eight bucks you spend every week, Obi, turn up and spend that and watch your lower grade. It's good now, fun. Now, round nine, Murph, is our halfway stage of this competition. And with those uh, ladders the way it is, I think it's going to still be the same right at the end of the season. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see those top five teams uh, get come out now. They're strong five teams playing good footy, but there are some crunch games coming up for yep. them as well. OK, and let's look at round nine preview. And it is Super Saturday this Saturday where four out of the top five teams play each other. Uh, you're at uh, Cools Road on Saturday night where Highfields take on Valleys. What a game that's going to be, uh, Neville. Mate, it's going to be an absolute awesome game, Obi. Like every week we get grand final style games. Like, and as Murph said, they're all crunch games. It's just going to be a sensational atmosphere out there. I'm, I'm tipping the Highfields guys simply because it's home game and home ground advantage. I can't pick them. I can't separate any of them. Yeah, well, uh, look, uh, I'm just going for Valleys. They're undefeated. They're a pretty classy outfit. I do like their forwards. Uh, I know McGrady's playing very, very well, but it's going to be similar to that Waddles-Highfields game early in the season where there was just nothing in it. And I predict no matter who wins or loses or draws, we'll know, be none the wiser <laughs> on how that team's going to go this year, don't you reckon, Murph? Definitely. I think uh, fullback Dylan Chown, he's uh, yeah. playing good footy too. He's good to watch. There's going to be a lot of good attacking footy in this game as well. Yeah. But I think Valleys might get up. They've had a few players rested last week that'll be back a bit fresher, I think, this week. So. Look, uh, Valleys, uh, uh, by their own admission, their completion rate has not been good this last month, even though they've remained undefeated and Highfields are the only team that I can remember uh, under over, a, say, a 60% average completion rate uh, week in, week out. Mate, that's fine. And 
Valley started really well last week and they, they can spread the ball so wide and fast. So I'm not surprised they drop a little ball. Like they, It's just the risk they take, but if they catch it, they're going to punish you bad. Exactly right. Now let's go on to the OB and Cooking Call Toowoomba Sports Club match of the day. We are going out to Clifton. Uh, myself, uh, Nutsy and Gary Lawrence is going to be calling that game on Power FM Special Events. It's Waddles up against Warwick, and what a pearl of this is. If there's any game that these two look forward to, it <laughs> is this match. It's like sort of Valleys, South, or uh, uh, Brothers, and all that type of rivalry as well, but it's going to be an absolute pearl of mirth. Definitely, I know these two, they have had some heated pre-season clashes in the past. Too, yeah. <laughs> in the season, when it counts, it, you can, uh, it's going to be mouth-watering for the people out there and the players, I reckon, they'll be yeah. putting in and easy to get up for this game. Who do you like and why, Murph? Now, I, now I, be, come on. I, I like Waddles because of their halves. I reckon they've, they've got that experience. Their halves, they've been there, they've had that experience and they give the other guys around them confidence. So I just think Waddles can get up. Yeah, yeah. Well, Warwick's a bit of an unknown. They've had a lot of injuries coming back and forth. They're coached well. Right, but anything can happen, yeah, but I'm about the same as you with Waddles. How about you, mate? Yeah, I think I'd take Waddles just simply on the home ground advantage, but what does bring Warwick into the occasion is Phil Economides, who's out there last Sunday, and sniff around Mick Bloomfield, he was there in the crowd as well. So they're doing their homework on Waddles, and he's a very smart coach, Economides, obviously. Yep. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll take Waddles. Hang on, mate. You have just praised Warwick like one thing, mate. I, I know, go, but... Yeah, but in the game, well, they're going, well, oh, but I'm going for the other They side. are, but only simply for the home ground advantage. That's the only reason I'm taking them. Good on you, Edie. <laughs> 16 all on <laughs> tipping. <laughs> OK, Sunday, Gatton Brothers play at that uh, wonderfully new, revamped Carl Park Sporting Complex on Sunday at 2.30. Uh, look, this is going to be another ripper of a game. Our brothers play well, as you said, last week, Murph. I think Gatton will have a bit of confidence under him. I think Gatton will put them to the sword this week again too. I think brothers do have that confidence, but I think Gatton will come out a bit stronger than Valleys did and keep it to them this week. Look, it's really serious stuff for Gatton this time of the season. I said last week they needed eight from 11. Now they need uh, seven from 10, so or something like that anyway. But uh, uh, so, but uh, they will not be taking brothers lightly, that's for sure, Ned. Mate, most certainly. and. If I had to pick a side that's underperformed this year, I think it's the Gatton side. So they need to get cracking. And Sean Hobson's a really good coach. They've got really good players. And, yeah, I think they'll get away with the victory. OK, and the OB and Cooking Corps, Hutchie's match of the round. Oki versus uh, Pittsworth. I think you're there with us, Nev, on, um, on Sunday. Is that right? No, I don't think I am. Aren't you? Why not? <laughs> Oh, I'll come if you want me to, but yeah, that's anyway, right. yeah, but right. I think we should have the Oki person right there, for sure. Right, but good. anyway, we'll see how we go. It's going to be an absolute ripper. Uh, these two are four, ga two games out of the the five, four points, and it's a must win for both of these. Uh, Murph, I think Oki will get up at home here this weekend. Tommy, really? Tommy will be into him. I think he was really <laughs> upset, like you said last week, and I think they'll have stand up here and have something to prove. Pittsworth had a bit of an easier game last week, so. That, Look, uh, one thing's for sure, I know there's going to be a big, big crowd out there and it's got a lot of uh, anticipation com like to uh, Gatton and Oki earlier in the, uh, in, the, in, in the season and I think uh, anything can happen. But look, uh, Pittsworth for mine, they're starting to get their players back and we'll see how we go, uh, Nep. Mate, most definitely and like there will be a big crowd Oki because People just breathe rugby league out there at Oakey, but I think Pittsworth with Braxstone as the coach, they're like they just there's just that little bit of class. They know how to win, and I think Oakey will really push them. And I said uh, last week, Oakey are the most physical side I've seen when they're on. But if they're not on, they can be diabolical. But I'll tip Pittsworth. Okay, and then we go on to Dolby Gun to Windy. Don't forget, we go 7th of June out to the Criterion Hotel to host the Tim Woomba Rugby League footy show. And this is going to be an absolute great game as well. Look, uh, Dolby are really concerned after their last couple of uh, games over the last two or three weeks. And uh, this is going to be an absolute pearl of uh, mirth. Definitely will be a good game and Gundy will be back up again this week. But um, Dolby, they would be a little bit concerned. They've won the grand final last year. They're realising that it's going to be a lot harder to do it again this year. And it, when, when you're Premiers, everyone does want to play you. So yep. they get up for you every week. But um, I think Dolby will get up in this game. But hang on, how come you're going for Dolby when you went for Oakey against Pittsworth, mate? Pittsworth are the grand finalists, mate. They're the grand finalists. So, and Gundy beat Oakey. What's, what's well, doing, mate? I just think Dolby at home, they'll be up for this game. They're getting a few players back. Jason Wardrop's quality. 
Just quickly, mate. mate. Yeah, I'll take Dolby. This is class. They're going to come good. Yeah, they've got to turn the season sometime, and I think they will at this time. Better be a close one as well. As we go to the break, let's look at an interview from Highfield's Tom Hine. Uh, Robbo. Coming up after the break, it's Obi's Rant. This is the TRL Footy Show, brought to you by Power FM, live and free on Power TV Australia. Andrew O'Brien, point of the QRL and TRL Media, and we've got the biggest fan group behind the camera here we've seen all year. Tommy Hines fan, uh, fan group, mate. And look, uh, what a tough game, mate. Yeah, mate, it was, it was a real tough uh, game up the middle there, especially for us forwards. Had a few big boys there that really trucked it up hard and, and hit us hard up the guts. Tommy, you've been grow growing with momentum uh, this year. You seem to be getting uh, better with every game it's going. Do you, do you put that down to just getting in the groove of what Gus wants on the field? Yeah, that and fitness. You know, I come in halfway last year and I um, didn't get to my peak for fitness where, I, where now each game I'm getting fitter and fitter and getting more minutes out there. You had a bit of injury late last year, did you? Yeah, I had surgery um, the following year and had a year off and then I just come back late last year. So. How old are you, Tommy? Uh, 26, mate. Yeah, and uh, always, what's your juniors, mate? Uh, juniors are um, Farrah High School in Tamworth okay. and uh, West Tamworth Lions. Yeah. And family mate, any other brothers or sisters playing the game? Uh, no, all my family's old. I'm the youngest. Um, they're in Tamworth, Sydney and up in Mundubra. So, mate, you're the most spoilt out of your family being the youngest? Oh, they think so, but I don't reckon. <laughs> oh, all right, you're playing very, very well, Tom. All the best and bring on Valleys next week. Thanks, mate. All right. Good evening. Sunday night at the movies. Latest release movies brought to you exclusively by US filmmakers, including Lima Films. Join us every Sunday night at 7 p.m. right here on Power TV Australia. Hi, this is Mick Jagger on Classic Vinyl. This is Debbie Harrow from Blondie. This is Jimmy Barnes here. Stevie Nibs from Fleetwood Mac. This is Reverend Willie G from ZZ Top. The best tracks from the greatest albums of our generation. That's right. From your breakfast and coffee. <laughs> Classic rock. Don't touch the dial. Powerfmradio.com.au indoor netball, cricket, soccer, dodgeball and volleyball is a great way to keep fit and catch up with friends and the place to go and play any or all of these sports is Action Indoor Sports. There are competitions for juniors and adults of all levels of ability from beginners to the most experienced. Action Indoor Sports is home to Inflatable World, an inflatable theme park for all ages and new and coming soon indoor softball. Go and see for yourself. Action Indoor Sports is located at 31 Spencer Street, Toowoomba. Check out the website to WoombaIndoorSports.com or phone 46359999. Well, welcome along to my music. I'm Jeff Black. Let me tell you about the T-Bird Diner. Well, just over here, We've got a Ford Custom line that's crashed through the wall. Next episode on my music on Power TV Australia. I'll see you then. 
and thanks for joining us for the TRL Footy Show. And now it's time for Obi's Rant. Well, certainly the culture of rugby league has changed, and not only at the top level, but at our grassroots as well. Uh, if we have players that are going to play like they played in, in uh, 20 years ago, which was sort of they can't run without a head, and they were swearing and they were abusing referees, not in my house these days. It is very strict, and I said early in the season, if you want to be uh, doing those things, take on the judiciary at your own peril. But the one I want to speak about is swearing. Uh, we go to our house uh, at home and we don't allow swearing, so why should we on the field? There are women and children, okay, and it is a family game now. Women are playing as well, so uh, swearing is a thing of the past now. We are an athletic uh, sport, and I don't think there's many players, especially in the top grade, that actually, uh, oh, look, have a beer and so forth. They're really good athletes now, but I think the swearing part of thing something we don't really need, Neville. Mate, that's right, Obi. I've been to a number of games this year and people are working really hard to uplift the image of league on the downs and doing a great job. And I'm watching 25 players out in the field and you hear that one person scream at the top of his voice some profanity and I just cringe, especially when you see the women and kids in the crowd. And I think to myself, if I turned up at your house, at your kitchen table and swore like that, your wife would kick me out of your house. As I think... Those people have got to take a good look at themselves. I understand that it's an emotional game, but you've just got to reel back in a little bit and just swear at the top notes, just not on. Look, and I think it's about respect too. Yep. You know, like um, now there's respect both both ways with officials, players, and I think the respect has got to come from the supporters. I know this year that we've actually uh, exited uh, supporters out of grounds simply by uh, uh, swearing, uh, Justin. Definitely, it's not never a good look swearing, and we tell our kids at a young age that it's not right to do. So at a footy ground, it's never right to do either on the field either. The players have got to be really aware of that. There is young kids there, families there, women there, grandmothers. Yep. They don't need to hear that. Footy's a good enough game to play, and just keep it out of it if you can, eh, guys? It's certainly going to not. We're not going to eradicate it. It is a contact sport. It is uh, what it is, rugby league, and we're going to have it, but it doesn't stop us talking about it, you know, especially the grassroots, because under sevens, under sixes, listen to right to, and they have idols all the way up. So uh, it's just a, a subject which I think uh, if we keep bringing it up, it's going to be, uh, uh, we've got to keep it in the foresight, haven't we, mate? Mate, we certainly have, and it's just an internal decision. I understand they're frustrated, but look, if you can just show a little res respect to the supporters that turn up, I think we have a great game, we have great people within our game, and we, as a sport we're better than that. And I think it, it, this week you won't hear it at all. Okay, well uh, this week on our social media we're going to have all of the OB and Cookie team right through. We're going to have our State of Origin teams on social media, and that has really given some banter even now with, between us all. <laughs> so we're, it's a last, last TRL footy show next week. All right, uh, where we'll talk everything State of Origin as well as Toowoomba Rugby League. Thanks, Merv. Cheers. Thanks, Ned. Thanks, See you next week. Over to you, Robbo. This has been the TRL Footy Show. Thanks to our major sponsors, Power FM, Royce Music and the Computer Troubleshooters. If you're in business and you're interested in advertising on Power TV or Power FM, you can contact us by phone or by email. The contact details are on the screen as we speak. This has been a Power TV Australia production in conjunction with Power FM. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and remember to download the Power TV Australia app from the Google Play Store. Thanks for your company for another edition of the TRL Footy Show. I'm Robbo. See you next week.